Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Thank you for joining us here on this Tuesday for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison and I'm Tiffany Lee. There are more than a thousand fire departments across Arkansas, but only 28 of them are staffed with fully paid careered employees. Five News reporter Jacob Luthi takes us to the Beaver Lake Fire Department, one of many that rely on volunteer firefighters to keep people safe. There are just over 1,000 fire departments across the natural state, but according to the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management, nearly all are partially staffed or volunteer based. I'm an ER nurse. I'm a full time firefighter at uh, Rogers Fire Department. We have some that work in factories. We have some other fire department guys that work full time at the city. We have guys that work on our diesel mechanics and it, all walks of life come come be volunteers. The Beaver Lake Fire Department oversees 12 square miles of land and close to 7,000 residents responding to fires, gas calls and medical emergencies. So far this year, the department says they've handled more than 400 calls. Rogers is our closest full-time department. Us being out here and kind of being there on scene before they are kind of gives them a heads up and it kind of helps them out and also if puts out the fire a little bit quicker. And while there are many benefits to having smaller local departments, there are also some struggles. Our manpower, um, our staffing, a typical fire response in a city or in other parts of the county, you might have about 20 guys that come out and respond to that. Versus out here, we're a little bit limited. We'll have 10 or 15. The department relies on residential dues and donations for its annual budget. We can always use more money. This truck here beside us, it was $1,800 for the rear set of brake pads. Nobody plans on things breaking. We paid $30,000 for a motor rebuild in it last year. And while firefighting is a job for some, for others, it's a calling. It's, it's a little bit strange, to be honest with you, when I first started out um, running calls in my neighborhood that I grew up in and kind of just in the same area. It was definitely a surreal experience, but I do enjoy being able to uh, to serve in the community that I grew up in. I think that's very important for me. At Beaver Lake, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, 5 News. Well, investigators are trying to figure out what caused a fire that burned down the Mahalan bird blind at Lake Fayetteville. The blind was built by the city using donations in memory of Paige Mahalan, who died in 20. 2012. He and his wife Mary were avid bird watchers. His son Kelly says that he's heartbroken to see it gone, knowing it also meant a lot to the community. We received hundreds and hundreds of messages from people who were, who were very disturbed and feel a great sense of loss and also seem to want it to be rebuilt. The family says that they are going to rebuild, but aren't sure when that will be. All right, we're going to get to more news for you in just a minute. But first, let's send it over to Zach with a check of the forecast. All right, we're tracking the chance for a few sprinkles, mainly later on uh, in your Tuesday. So Tuesday, anytime afternoon through really a Wednesday morning. So we'll go from noon uh, Tuesday to noon Wednesday. That 24-hour window, there's going to be a storm system kind of sweeping across Oklahoma and Arkansas. But not all the ingredients coming together perfectly here to give us widespread rainfall, but enough that again, a sprinkle in the back half of your Tuesday overnight for Northwest Arkansas into the morning hours, a little bit better chance for any scattered showers will come as we go later into the afternoon, evening hours and into Wednesday morning south of the I-40 corridor will have the best chance for again a light scattered shower uh, temperatures for your Tuesday better than they were Monday upper 70s to low 80s a little east northeast breeze still driving in that drier air so lower humidity today than there was for you yesterday and temperatures even cooler in the river valley we're into the mid 80s mostly cloudy skies expected across the area today Thanks for that, Zach. Well, the plan to bring the first Bucky's Travel Center to Arkansas is a done deal. Benton's mayor signed off on the terms, reaching a major milestone after more than a year of planning. The store will go up just off Interstate 30. Now, we don't know when it will open because they are still waiting for that last permit to start their construction. Happening today, the Forsmouth Board of Directors will meet to approve a plan aimed at modifying and updating the city's sewer system. If a deal isn't reached soon, it could cost the city millions. The vote today will give the city administrator the go-ahead to negotiate a completion date with the federal government. 
Well, many people in Arkansas, especially in rural areas, haven't been able to use online resources because they don't have access to high-speed internet. But a recent study shows from 2021 to now, Arkansas had the greatest gains in broadband access in the nation. The study by hosting advice shows a 9% increase in broadband access across the state over the past four years. That's close to 120,000 new connections. Glenn Howey, the state broadband director, says getting high-speed internet access to rural areas has been the focus. He says the growth over the past four years is largely thanks to state and federal grants and even private investments from internet service providers. Out of all the counties in Arkansas, Benton County was the fastest growing when it comes to internet connectivity. That speaks to a couple of things. Uh, you know, one, it's one of the fastest growing areas, right, of the state. Uh, one of the economic powerhouse engines um, of the state, but surprisingly, um, some of the greatest need, actually, if you get off of, sort of the interstate corridor and you go uh, east or west, there are a lot of folks who um, still have no connection at all or the connection they do have uh, is very poor. And so uh, it's been an area of focus. The next round of grants to help with those connections will roll out in October. Well, for now, thank you so much for joining us here on this Tuesday. Catch up with us again tomorrow right here for more. Have a great day.